of our beloved President and Chief Academic Officer, let us all welcome Dr. Emily Dodson de Leon. And I have been doing it, and it is true, because that's why I look young, I feel good, I'm happy, because I'm doing the same thing. And so he was so surprised when he was talking about this, and I told him, I have been doing this because I had a boss. My boss, Vina Mias, told me also this thing. And uh, from that time on, 30 years ago, I have been doing that. That's why I stay good. I feel good, and no matter what people does, no matter what people create, to me, God is greater than any problem in this world. If you have problems, the love of God is greater than those problems of yours. To me, you can destroy me, you can destroy anything, but you can never destroy a person who believes in God. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric, you can now proceed. Listen so that you will understand. He, uh, he really gave his best. And you see, he's doing this for you people so that you could be happy. Okay, Mr. Espanol? Thank you very much, Dr. Emily Dodson de Leon, our one and only president. The only president, the only president that we would we will ever have here in UM was done a lot for everyone. So since everyone is already standing, I would like to uh, ask all of you to remain standing. This is a very special afternoon. So before we ask our guest lecturer to present to us his uh, gift, his secret that he will impart to everyone. I would uh, like to invite everyone to join us in a short prayer. And to lead us closer to heaven, we have with us our beloved, spiritually gifted principal of the high school and elementary department. She's also a faculty member in the College of Education, Professor Nieva Gomez. Christian, he is a Muslim, and I do believe that if you follow the Quran of Allah, Allah is the God of the Muslim, I know it, because I have an adopted son who is a Muslim, Abu is my adopted son, but I never told Abu that you should be a Christian. If you want to be a Muslim, you can be a Muslim forever, so long as you follow the laws of Allah. Because if you are a true Muslim, you should not drink, you should not uh, take drugs and so on. So if you believe in Allah, but some Muslims they do not believe on the principles of Allah and they dream. So don't think that Muslims are uh, not good. They're very good. That's why I have an adopted son who is a Muslim. Okay? And so when Mr. Stanyal said let us start with a prayer then we can start also with uh, our guest speaker who believes in Allah we believe in God. God is Allah. And so, I'm so sorry. I did not, I forgot because this is a very, it's so rushed that I had no time to tell him that let us just pray the way we want to pray. Okay, Mr. Espanol, without asking Mr. Gom uh, Ms. Gomez here, let us pray to our God. We have only one God and the God of the Muslim is Allah. Our God we have also God, I call him God the Father, 
to me, we have the same belief in one aspect only, and that is Jesus Christ, a Muhammad, sent by God, like the Muhammads of the Muslims. Okay, let us now pray. Now you should, yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Uh, here in the University of Manila, we always value respect for whatever religion or choice of religion that people have. So let us just take a moment and bow our heads and reflect and let uh, our God lead the way in a prayer that comes from your heart. Thank you very much. We may now sit down. It's a really neat way to start off our afternoon because we not only will learn from our guest speaker, we also learn more things, especially how we should behave in a convocation like this, that, that, that uh, uh, where uh, there is uh, a lot of people with different religions. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very special gathering as our guest lecturer, a man whose greatness cannot be measured by mere words, will reveal the secret that everyone would just simply die to know. A secret that can change the way the world works. A secret similar to the fountain of youth that can help restore your health and ensure a long life. Life is precious. It is a gift from God that we must always appreciate and nurture. The University of Manila, through the efforts of our President and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Emily Dodson de Leon, understands that to ensure the holistic development of our students, it must not only provide knowledge from books, but wisdom that they can use and apply in their everyday, in their everyday lives ergo our spe a special convocation this afternoon. Let me introduce with honor, pride, and pleasure our guest who will enlighten us about something very important this afternoon. Our guest is a very good friend of Dr. Emily Dodson de Leon, our president, and is a new addition to the University of Manila family. According to Miss Universe 1994, Sushita said, love is the essence of life. But for him, our special guest speaker, the essence of his love is life is love. And love is life. Thus, he has devoted his life to spread his love of life and through his scientific discovery, touch other people's lives. He is from the Sultanate of Oman, whose capital is Muscat a beautiful country in the southeast corner of the Arabian Peninsula, near Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, to share with us his discovery on the miracle and wonders of treatment from hot water. Let us give a warm UN welcome to Dr. Faris Rashid Al-Hajri. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much. Really, I'm thanking Dr. Emily. Really, I'm really very happy about this moment to share uh, my message with the world. And I believe that uh, this message will spread to all over the world. And uh, yes, I'm Muslim, but I believe in all religion because we are all united. Three main things that unite all of us. And I'm going to spread the message to everywhere that all of us, we are united by three main message may think that God will unite us, all of us. Number one is faith, despite of difference in the uh, worshiping and way of devotion, but 
we believe on the same faith. So we all have the same God, and all of us, we came from the same creation, uh, God the Almighty. Uh, number two, human composition. You will never find anybody who has three eyes, two nose. We are all the same. We have all the same organs, so we are all the same. Number three is the dream. Every human being has dream. Every human being wants to live happy, to live healthy, to share the good moments of love and to be loved. So these are the three men I'm focusing where I have also uh, author another book, uh, The Values of Well-Being and Its Secrets for a Better Living. My wife, she's a Christian, uh, she practices her religion, and she goes to the church uh, every week, uh, she practices the Bible, she reads the Bible, and uh, I'm really, I believe that uh, a Muslim that I married a Christian made our life to become successful. That there's no religion that should be making us apart or any kind of difference. I focus on the three main uh, issues that make us united. God bless you all, and we believe that uh, this message is from the people of Oman, and uh, uh, it's for all over the world, for our brotherly and uh, sister, uh, brotherly country, the Philippines. Uh, I love the Filipinos, really, and uh, you are very good people. Uh, God bless you all, and uh, you are the leaders of tomorrow. All of you, some of you will be mayors, uh, different posts, uh, and uh, I pray for all of you for a good success, that we all of us should believe and dream. Thank you very much. I will just start with a couple of minutes, the uh, seminar that will be in PowerPoint. First, I'd like to introduce uh, my wife, Gloria Calderon. Uh, my son, Thais. Uh, and my youngest son, Sami. share the same birthday in terms of a day and month. So they are born October 28, 2002 and uh, uh, 96. So uh, they believe on hot water. My wife she's actually a professional nurse, about uh, 28 years experience. Uh, but thanks. She believe on hot water. It's been four years, you can imagine, we do not use medicine at all because they contain toxins. I'm not intending to, uh, intending to attack the pharmaceutical industry, but everybody knows that medicine contains toxins, so we believe on alternative medicine, which is the hot water itself, which is available everywhere. You have water, you have fire everywhere. It's available. This is a medicine from God, I believe, and uh, it really does miracle. Just only yesterday and before yesterday, two days, I had acquired a terrible infection. My stomach was aching, my body was really aching, terribly. And I, I thought I got food poisoning. Can you believe? It's only hot water. Only hot water. It's here I'm drinking, and I'm not selling the water. It's just the water that is in your house. The fire, everybody has water and fire. It's the cheapest. It doesn't cost, cost less. So, uh, before for three days, my son faced the same thing. He got the same thing. Some we thought it's a food poisoning. He was, uh, I mean, he was having a problem of uh, vomiting, continuous vomiting. We were about to rush him to the hospital, but he kept on saying, "I believe on the heart water. That's my cure." And we just keep on uh, watching him. Within only two days, he was completely back to normal. So believe or not, heart water is a miracle, and I'm going to show. I'm going to show you with my achievement why hot water is really a miracle. Why I call it a miracle? Why would you say it's just only hot water is a medicine? When I say it's a miracle because water itself is actually created by God. Everybody believes that water is holy to every human being. Without water we won't live, we won't be alive. Uh, without water we cannot live. Water which composes of Two atoms hydrogen and one atom oxygen simply is making miracle. And uh, I'll prove to you why I have achieved, uh, how I have achieved this scientific discovery, where with the blessing from God, 
I had an agreement with Auto House US to participate. First, Auto House is one of the biggest companies in the world, based in US, for printing, marketing, and uh, uh, publishing of books. And I'm also uh, supposed to participate for three international fairs in New York, Frankfurt, and Beijing. And they were insisting that I need to be in Beijing because Chinese, they really know about hot water since centuries ago, uh, a bit back. Uh, as Dr. Emily, she said, for 30 years she's been using hot water. Believe me, it will keep you always stay young. It's really, really doing a miracle. A part of just curing you from diseases, but you always remain young. So here I'll just start the, I believe that the collection Yeah, well, then, I just start with the profile, some of the achievements. Uh, this is just only a theory from my second book, The Values of Well-Being and Secret for a Better Living, where I say, wealth doesn't bring happiness, but happiness brings wealth. Neither happiness nor wealth brings health, but health brings both happiness and wealth. Every human's ambitions are wealth. Health happiness and wealth, but wealth doesn't come without happiness. And happiness doesn't come without health. Every human, whether baby, child, youth, or adult, struggles for health in order to survive. The dream of every human is to live a long life filled with health until they accomplish the star that has been a gift to them since birth in the same manner of our longest living ancestors. Uh, that is my, our, actually our common dress in Oman, how we wear. Uh, I'll go, uh, these are some of the achievements. I've been online TV interview with the Oman TV channel, one. This is a national, our national TV. As Oman this year celebrate 40 years of uh, renaissance of uh, our king, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. Uh, they were selecting people who have contributed to the achievement to the country. And with a blessing from God, I was, I was chosen uh, because thousands of people were cured and a huge benefit. People were so overwhelming response from the people. So I was selected to be, uh, as, uh, to be participating in the live TV interview. And I promise for further uh, TV interview further to that. Uh, that that's just uh, recently. I was also on live TV, live TV with the Majan channel. It's also a... Uh, a TV in Oman, a private TV. I was a feature in terms of Oman magazine in English. Uh, I was featured in uh, Al Shadiba newspaper in Arabic. Uh, also, the dates are showing there. Uh, so, yeah. I was featured also in uh, Muscat Daily newspaper in English. I was featured as well in uh, High magazine in English, five pages, uh, all about hot water. Uh, I was featured, uh, I condu I've conducted several, uh, pre and several uh, seminars and private seminars as well. Uh, astonishing results from the people about uh, the hot water. Until now, 27 diseases have been found to, cure, to be cured by hot water, believe or not. Uh, I was able myself to be cured by chronic diseases, asthma, lumbago, migraine, and serious series of migraine and rhinitis. And this was proven with a certificate from the medical committee where my wife was working in the hospital, a very famous hospital called the Royal Command Police Hospital. I had a series of these attacks. I was collapsed.